Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is August 18th, 2023 and today's daily scripture readings are found in Acts chapter 12 verses 5 through 10 and 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 22 through 23 but I'll be reading verses 22 through 25 and I'll go ahead and reiterate verse 22. Through 23. All right, and as always, let us get started with the index scripture first. So, Acts chapter 12, starting at verse 5, and the word says, Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers. And the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Gird yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him. And did not know that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they were past the first and the second guard post, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. Amen. And on the index card I have written, we see that prayer for Peter offered by the church, born again believers and followers of Jesus Christ, was very powerful. And the light that comes from the angel, which comes from God, is also powerful. Powerful in the way how it just shone. It probably just shone in that darkness and that, that light just radiated off of him. We serve a powerful and mighty God, and his power dwells in us by way of Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And now, we are doing 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 22 through 25, and I'll reiterate verses 22 through 23, seeing how those were the daily scriptures uh, for today. And the word says, since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Because all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass, the grass withers and it and its flowers falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Amen. Now let me read, read verses 22 through 23. Since you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God which lives and abides forever. Amen. And I just hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.